Hi everyone, Dr. Mario from C-Tech again. This is the second video on terminating cable in section 14. Uh, this is terminating a two-pair cable and if you remember from the last video we call it terminating because we're putting an end on the cable, we're ending the cable. So in your uh, student activity kit you should have your combination uh, crimper, stripper, cutter and if you look, it's got a little flip thing here that's a lock. That way it won't open. So I like to keep it in the closed position so I don't end up hurting myself. When I use it, I just flip this back and then I can open the jaws all the way. I have a 10 foot length of two pair cable. So I'm going to take the little tie off of that. And I have a small baggie of ends that are called RJ11s. These are register jack or RJ11s and 11 is the size. These are a 6P 4C or 6 position 4 connector and if you look real close there you can probably see the 4 uh, brass connectors that are on the uh, end of this. The wire is going to end up going in here. On this side of the connector you'll see that there's a little tab and that tab is the lock. So when we're terminating this cable we want to make sure that this tab is down and the opening is pointing towards us. So our first step is to make sure that we can take the outer covering off of the uh, cable. So if you look at this one, this has got a kind of ragged on an angle cut. We want to make sure that that's as square across as possible. So we're going to open up our cutters. And this end here is our cutter to be able to cut the wire. These up here is our strippers and that's where we're going to strip the wire. So first thing we want to do is position our cutters where we have it square across and the wire is coming out perpendicular to the cutters and we're just going to squeeze and now we have a nice square cut. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to strip that outer covering off and if you look here there's a little stop so as I slide this cable in it comes right up against that stop. Now the blades if you look close the blades do not come together not like the cutter the cutter goes all the way down these blades are spaced apart and they're spaced just far enough apart so all they're going to take off is that plastic outer coating. So we're going to put that in there, push it right up against the stop, we're going to squeeze and we're going to pull and look at that we've got four little wires sticking out now. So we don't want to move these around too much but if you look you have yellow, green, red and black. So when we put this into the connector we want the black on the left. So when we're looking at it and ready to put it into that little RJ11, it should be black, red, green, yellow. So remember I said we have to have the tab down. So the tab is down. We're going to slide the cable right in here like this. And we're going to push it until uh, it feels like it's all the way up at the end. Wiggle it a little bit. And if you look very, very closely, you can see those wires right up at the end of the connector. Now we're going to take our uh, crimper part of the tool, and that's right here. And if you look, it's got the little indent for the tab to go into. So we're going to open these up. We're going to slide the connector in. You hear that little click. And then we're going to squeeze, and you're going to hear a little sound. So listen real close. I don't know if you heard that, but that was the connector pushing in. Now this is connected and it's terminated correctly and configured correctly with black on the left and yellow on the right and all of those little pieces that were here on the top are now pushed down into the wires and we call that insulation displacement connectivity or IDC. So let's do this one more time on the other end of the cable. Take a look at our cable. 
Well, look at that. We got a pretty ragged edge there, so let's straighten that out. So, first step, I'm going to get my cutter and I'm going to make sure that the wire is perpendicular like a T and I'm just going to cut off that end. Then my next step is to strip it. So, I'm going to push it in here at the stripper. I'm going to push it right up against the stop. I'm going to squeeze. I'm going to pull the wire away. I've got my four wires. I've got black on the left. I've got my RJ11. I'm going to slide the wires into the RJ11. I'm going to wiggle it, make sure it's all the way to the end. And I'm going to place it into my crimper. I'm going to squeeze. I'm going to lift up the tab, pull it out, and I'm going to test it, and I'm all done. So now I have a telephone extension cord that I could use to connect my telephone any place that I want to. So that's it for today's video, and uh, I hope you have a lot of fun uh, learning how to terminate cables. Uh, I'll talk to you again on the next video. Have a great day, everybody.